Alright, hey, what's going on, guys? It's FYT Potato here. Um, today, as you can see, I don't have my face cam up. It's kind of musty anyway, so I'll just talk to the Doge. Why not? Um, I want to talk about something known as labels and teams when it comes to even from like a business standpoint and why you shouldn't sign with uh you know these big teams or big labels especially if you're in music or gaming um it's a big deal it truly is so i thought about it today and i was just like huh, i think i should go in a video and talk about this so uh, so let's start off. Uh, so teams that are like FYT esports, uh, we don't sign you. We don't put you into a uh, like a big contract or anything because those big contracts will tie into us taking your income away, right? Um, the more money you get signed for, the more income is taken away from you to pay back that contract. Well, if you just get recruited or like something that's built around communities such as FYT, where you're not officially signed, you're just you just get a label put on you, basically. You're, you still get full income. You don't get your income taken away. Labels, you know, music labels and stuff like that do that too, where let's say you get signed for about $10 million a year, you know. Five years, $50 million, $10, $10 million a year. Uh, they're probably going to end up taking more of your income. So the more the more you're paid, the more your income is going to get taken away. So the, that $10 million that you're getting paid... Your income from your social media or music that you're getting from, they're going to be taking about probably about 70 to 80 percent of that uh, just to pay back the contract that they had given you. So that is a lot of money being taken away from you. Uh, teams like Havoc, uh, FYT, Soar, um, they generally don't take much money away from you. Well, Soar does a little bit. Havoc, I think, is another one of those uh, recruiting things where you, you're just recruiting, you just get a label put on you, and you earn all your income as you please, and you might pay some entry fees for like tournaments and stuff, which isn't that big of a deal if you think about it. Um, Soar, uh, I did realize that they don't really take too much of your income. That's I've researched it a little bit, and they don't, in general, I think they take less than 50 percent which actually is very very good for a gaming team i think teams also like i think optic does the same thing but face clan face clan is the one i want to talk about because uh tifu is also in a situation with that too uh where he had like 70 percent of his income being taken away off a 10 million dollar contract or something like that and basically contracts just tie you into bullshit that's all they do they don't tie you into anything but oh look you can get on top of the charts but we're going to take away the majority of your income. That's how it works with labels and teams. And that's the reason why uh, you should not join teams. Like Because it, a lot of times when you join labels with like these big contracts, they'll sign you for a certain amount of money. And then eventually they want to earn that money back. So that, what they're going to do, they're just going to take away your income. They did it to Tifu. So Tifu had this problem. Uh, and he actually threatened to sue them for it because he, he thought he was uh, being like unlawfully, I think he thought like it was unlawful that they were taking away his income. And actually, no, it's not. It's completely legal. Uh, there's a reason why he lost that. Um, but I know, he, I think he quit the team, so, yeah. But under contract, it's a legal document when you think, yeah, it's a legal document. So when you're being signed into those contracts, the income that you make from like videos and stuff. So yeah, let's say you make like what, like ten grand a month. You might only be making about fifteen hundred dollars a month if you're signed under a team because, or probably even less than that, if you're signed under a big label or team because they're gonna be taking the majority of your income to earn back that money. It's just a very very bad. It's it's almost like a it's it's almost like if you think about like a monopoly it's a, that's the way that it's ran and it's kind of you might think it's illegal but it's not and it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it um, contracts to me just destroy people that's why uh, I would I have been offered contracts from uh, I think Minnesota Rocker was one of them uh, I was underage though so they couldn't sign me but when I saw the contract actually they weren't terrible i think they took away i think it said about 35 percent of income goes to them which is actually not terrible actually actually that was pretty good uh i've seen much worse 
my friend uh, Alex Stark, if you guys don't know who he is, he was a big Twitch influence back in like the Black Ops 3 days. And he was signed with Red Reserve, uh, which is also part of FaZe Clan. Or was. It's not a team anymore. They all broke off. Um, he had about, I think, I forget how much income was taken away from him, but he almost went homeless because of it. Uh, he, he was, I think he got about, mm, it was a good, like, I think it was about 75% of his income taken away when he signed Red Reserve. And it forced him to basically go bankrupt and he actually had to stop streaming because of it. I think he's back streaming again now. He just isn't as big as he used to be. But yeah, he had, he, he used to be a big streamer. Um, I was, he was, oh, I was one of his favorite viewers. I, I was always on his streams and I always had a very unique username. But, um, I've, he did talk about it a little bit. It wasn't much, but a lot of it had to do with financial problems with, uh, the team, with the amount of money that was taken away from him. It was just insane that FaZe Clan and Red Reserve made him go bankrupt. He pretty much lost his house and everything, which I thought was just, I, I was just baffled when, I heard that, that he just couldn't pay, like, his taxes or anything because a team basically just destroyed his re d destroyed his reputation when it comes to even just paying taxes. And then he, lo I know he lost his house. He also had to sell his, uh, his PC and his PS4. He had to sell all of his gaming stuff. He had to sell everything in his house uh, just to pay for an apartment. And then he also left Red Reserve. And the Red Reserve, I think, pretty much after he left, it kind of collapsed. Um, it was actually, it was after, it was, he was the first one to leave, and then a the bunch of the people in the Red House left, I think, right after him. So, that kind of collapsed the entire team. I think they all joined Obey. Uh, he still remains independent, I think, though. Uh, he's not, I mean, uh, grant, granted, yeah, I think he's earning more money than he was before. I think he decided, hey, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna save enough money, I'm gonna come back and stream daily. Uh, he, I don't know what, I think he switched to more so, like, the business side, which I thought was a little weird, but, uh, I think he's swinging away from gaming a little bit, which is okay, because I think he's doing much better when it comes to, uh, working in, like, the stock market and stuff, because that's what he's been doing. I've been in contact with him. Uh, I do have to request to see if, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him if he wants to get on and play some games at some point. Um... Yeah, that's all I have to talk about. I just want to talk about how uh, contracts basically destroy people, labels destroy people, and uh, teams they definitely destroy people, especially when they're signed into tied into like these big big contracts that are put in place. It's just a load of bullshit. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If you ever want to make it to like Phase Clan, don't go for it. It's a bad decision. If you're just looking for the fame and not for like any kind of money or anything like that, because you gotta think about your financial part in it. That's the thing. You got to think about the financial area of the of your situation. You're like, wait a minute. Do I want all my income stripped from me, and I'm being signed a fucking million dollar contract? Do I and I just want all my income from like YouTube and Twitch being taken away from me? Because it, it it's a very tough decision when you think about it. But granted, most people just go for it because they're like, hey, I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be part of like the biggest gaming team in the world, and. Oh, and then they find out a year later that they're almost broke. Um, because they have to be paid back all the money that they gave you for a contract. I'm just itching myself real quick. Yeah. Um, basically, basically, the lesson is don't be stupid and sign into big contracts because it's a very, very... Uh, you don't want to be stupid. You just want to... It, it's better to stay independent because you're granted you won't make all that money right away as independent but i mean eventually you'll make a crap ton of money i'm i'm being honest uh for crying out loud i know i have a couple friends that have been starting to make they were trying to get on teams they were desperate to get on teams to try and earn some more money i mean oh look i want to get signed for like what like 500 grand i think that's what one of his offers was and he backed up and said wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute how much income are they taking away from me he looked at he looked at that and he was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna sign that because, huh? I'm not gonna earn. I'm I won't be earning that much money. I'll just have that one that one time payment of like five hundred grand, and then they'll be taking away all your income. 
Uh, I think now he's a millionaire now, which is actually fucking insane. Uh, I, he even says that he wasn't ever going to be able to reach that under a team at all. I forget what team he was going to sign with. I think it was Obey. But, yeah, he even said that uh, he wasn't going to be as big as he is now under Obey. He might have more followers under Obey, but he would not have as much money as he does. And he's living the life of luxury right now uh, down in Texas. Uh He's living it up. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be streaming later. If you guys want to see some of that, just go over to my Twitch. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.